Hello everyone, my name is Len Chilwani and I'm Gerald Kirubi. We will lead you through what we have done in our laboratory project which is titled Remote Mechanical Switch to Regulate Electricity Consumption in the Household and our supervisor is Mrs. Yu Chi Yen. We know that ESCOM has been struggling to meet the rising electricity demand of its customers since 2007 which has resulted in loading blackouts. When load shedding ends, a spike in power demand was observed which is mitigated using ramping. To remedy this problem, the utility has opted to hike electricity tariffs, which will negatively impact consumers financially. Households take up about a fifth of South Africa's electricity market share. Almost 40% of household electricity is consumed by water heating alone. To avoid load shedding and hefty electricity bills, it is in every household's interest to regulate its own electricity consumption. In this project, we have designed, built and tested a system that regulates electricity consumption of appliances in a household. A user of this system will have the ability to easily mount it onto existing set of breakers, set a timer to enable or disable switching, and also control it remotely using a web application. We also investigated how well remote switching can lower the peak power demand after load shedding uses stochastic delays. The web application is responsible for sending control commands from the user to the system and for sending system information to the user. Communication is implemented using the Node MCU microcontroller and Azure servers. The web application was designed using JavaScript, HTML, and CSS. The actuator is responsible for mechanically enabling or disabling the circuit breaker switch using an MG996R7 motor via the rack and pinion mechanism. A DC power is added to deliver mains power and onboard power with an efficient, rechargeable 1.8 mAh lithium ion battery. The onboard power ensures that a user can still control the system when there is a power outage. The system can operate for 9 hours 40 minutes using the lithium ion battery, which takes 3 hours 15 minutes to recharge. The latency to request a command or a complete schedule from the server lies between 6.4 and 7.7 .7 seconds. We use this system to shift the operation of the 3 kW geyser from peak to off peak hours in order to reduce electricity costs. The current peak tariff is about 7 to 211 cents per kilowatt hour, more expensive than the off peak tariff. Assuming that a user draws 50 liters of hot water during peak hours, the results show that an amount of 40 rands to 270 can be saved every month. In the investigation of lowering the peak power demand using remote switching, the probability distribution curve for drawing 50 liters of water was used in conjunction with the Monte Carlo algorithm to obtain an aggregated load profile comprising 3,600 geysers. Peak power demand in the morning and the evening are 1.3 and 2 megawatts respectively. Load shedding was simulated on the load profile between 4.30 pm and 8 pm. Using a ramp rate of 15 megawatts per minute, the model shows that the peak power demand rises to 10.6 megawatts just after 8 pm. By applying stochastic delays of 15 to 60 minutes in intervals of 15 minutes, the peak power demand decreases from 5.9 to 5.5 megawatts. Thank you for listening. We hope you have enjoyed this presentation.